Bueno, gente, aquí estamos viviendo la grandísima historia de Metal Gear Solid 3. Y bueno, tenía que curarlo, ¿no? Vamos a curar a Big Boss. A ver cómo era, gente, que no me acuerdo. Vale, aquí, curar. Vale, pues tenemos que inyectarle aquí. Si no me equivoco. Satura, venda, de todo esto, ¿no? El cuchillo. Vale, vale. Ya viste en el vídeo anterior cómo se cayó Big Boss para abajo y... Den Boss se llama la madre y lo tiró para abajo y lo hizo por mí. Vale, vamos a ver si terminamos de curarlo. Ahora cuando termine de curarlo, gente, me voy a callar porque seguramente haya cinemáticas. Ya sabéis que esto está plagado de cinemáticas, ¿no? Y me interesa escucharlas, ¿vale? Vaya fuerza voluntad que tiene Big Boss, ¿eh? Es impresionante, tío. Ahora, ahora mismo estoy hablando gente, pues como, como no está hablando nadie, pues por eso puedo hablar yo. Pero bueno, ya estáis viendo, ha caído Big Boss aquí abajo. Lo hemos recuperado, ¿vale? Se ha curado. Y ahora pues a trans dinámicas, eso está clarísimo. Excellent. A great success. Thanks to the boss and her cobras, I have both Sokolov and the Shagohad. What are we going to do with the girl? Who is she? Apparently she's Sokolov's woman. She's a nice catch. I'll take her. 
Not so fast, my dear. A kiss of death. You KGB. We may be able to use her. Take her back to the base. Perhaps we should. We have no further use for Sokolov's research facility. I think it's time I gave this marvelous new toy what? a try. Colonel, even if they are our enemies, they're still our countrymen. But it won't be me that pulled the trigger. It'll be our friend, the American defector. You're going to nuke your fellow Russians? <laughs> the Alamo. Colonel! Vale, hay tiempo para guardar la partida ahora. Vamos a guardarla. Bueno, esta música, gente... Perdóname que os diga, se me ponen los pelos de punta. Me encanta. La palabra me encanta, no lo siguiente, ¿vale? Esta música es una de mis favoritas, ¿eh? Os lo digo, ¿eh? Esto viene siendo lo de la presentación del juego. Realmente la presentación. Es alucinante. It's the way. 
over the Arctic Ocean, altitude 30,000 feet, approaching Soviet airspace, arriving at the designated drone launch point. Drone oil pressure and voltage are nominal. Payload oxygen supply is nominal. Power supply to payload antifreeze system shows no problems. No gusts. All systems go for drone detachment. Snake, we can't risk a halo jump this time around. Airspace security has gotten tighter since we were last here. We can't get as close to the ground as we did during the Virtuous mission. So instead, we'll be using one of our newest weapons. Snake, you're being given an honor on par with Alan Shepard. This is our last chance. Show your patriotism. If you fail, you'll be back in a hospital bed again, waiting for the firing squad. <laughs> So how does it feel to be a patient in one of the most advanced ICUs in the world? Would you do me a favor and tell the suits about visiting hours? I'll never get better with them assaulting me day and night with their questions. Must be part of the top brass's inquiry. More like an interrogation. According to them, I'm a traitor and an accomplice to the boss's defection. They're just looking for a scapegoat. Does that mean they're after you too? Mm. Let's just say neither one of us is going to be made a national hero out of this. Does this mean Fox is going to die? No. This Fox is still one step ahead of the hounds. The reason I came to see you today... Jack, it's time for Fox to clear its name. What are you talking about? The situation has changed. We've still got a chance to come out of this one alive. Yeah, what kind of chance? Don't get too excited. Here, have a cigar. It's Cuba. This morning, I had a meeting with the CIA. They decided when they're going to execute us? No. Something even bigger. Yesterday, the White House received an unexpected call. President Johnson? Yes, I hear you, Mr. Chairman. It was a hotline call from Khrushchev to President Johnson. From the head of the Soviet Union? That's right. A few days ago, one of our country's main design bureaus, OKB-754, was destroyed in a nuclear explosion. At about the same time, our anti-aircraft radar picked up a signature that appeared to come from one of your military aircraft. Does any of this sound familiar to you? In retaliation, I have placed our armed forces on secondary alert. Depending on your response, I may be left with no choice but to order the military to maximum alert and unleash Armageddon. With the help of your predecessor, I was able to survive the Cuban incident. But my power is not as great as it once was. If I am to survive this crisis, I must have your full cooperation. I should have contacted you myself. Did you know that one of our soldiers defected to your country a week ago? No. So you haven't heard that. The man who arranged the defection was a Gru colonel by the name of Yevgeny Borosovich Volgin. Volgin? Of the Brezhnev faction. Go on. Who is the soldier? Her name is the boss. She's a living legend. During World War II, she was the one who led us to victory in that war. In Russia, you know her as Voyevoda. You mean the boss? The mother of your special forces? Yes, that's the one. And she took two miniature nuclear shells along with her. The boss took two miniature nuclear shells. I'm afraid so. I believe they were a gift for her new hosts. The Davy Crockett Atomic Battle Group delivery system was completed two years ago. But serious problems were found with the launcher's range and precision. Although they were mass-produced, they've never been deployed in battle. But Sokolov's research facility was completely wiped out. The whole area is polluted. I can only offer you my deepest condolences over this terrible tragedy. So, 
the box with Colonel Volgen's help stole two experimental nuclear shells and took them with her as a gift when she defected. Then, shortly thereafter, Sokolov's design lab, a top secret military research facility, was destroyed by one of these weapons. Am I right so far? Yes, that's correct. And the American government denies any involvement in the affair. Is that right as well? That's correct. We were not involved in any way. Then what was a U.S. military aircraft doing on our radar screen? It was clearly in a violation of our airspace. And yet you say it was not acting under your orders. That's correct. You expect me to believe that this was all the work of a single soldier? I don't know what else to tell you. The army insists that this is all a ploy on your part. I've said it once, and I'll say it again. Our government had nothing to do with it. And I would like dearly to believe you. However, I'm afraid my power over the military has weakened since the Cuban incident. I will need some kind of proof that this was not the action of the American government. You have one week. You must catch the boss yourselves and recover the remaining nuclear device. Then, you must find some way to prove your innocence. Prove our innocence? Yes. Preferably something painful. Prove to me that this is not merely another one of your tricks. The boss should be close to Colonel Volgan. How about a little co-action? I would not expect too much if I were you. The political situation here is unstable. And Colonel Volkin is a member of the Brezhnev faction, which seeks to topple my government. One week. You have only one week. And if it is not too much to ask, do something about Volkin as well. What is that supposed to mean? Nothing. It means nothing. Call it a modest gentleman's agreement to ensure our continued relationship. What if we can't prove our innocence? be unable to restrain the military. I will be ousted, and they will seek their revenge. A nuclear attack on the United States? I leave the disposal of this situation entirely to your discretion, Mr. President. Disposal? If you fail, it will mean the beginning of a new world war. Put it simply, in order to avoid a full-scale nuclear conflict, we have to prove that America was not involved in that explosion. And eliminating the boss ourselves will prove America's innocence? Right. The higher-ups have decided that you're the only one capable of pulling this off. You were her last apprentice. Screw this one up, and we'll both be six feet under. There's no choice. Are the Russians going to be helping us? The KGB has promised to lend us one of their communications satellites so that you and I can talk to each other. That's it? They've also put us in touch with a couple of insiders. Insiders? There was a defection in September 1960. Do you remember it? You mean the two NSA codebreakers who went over to the Soviet Union? Precisely. Since then, They've apparently been training with the KGB for exactly this kind of situation. Their code names are Adam and Eva. I've been told that Adam has infiltrated Volkin's ranks. I've also arranged for him to provide you with an escape route. You'll need to rendezvous with him when you get there. Unidentified aircraft detected, altitude 30,000 feet. It's fast. Estimated airspeed exceeding Mach 3. Bearing south. I'm about to lose it.
This is Snake. Do you read me? Loud and clear. Glad to see you landed safely. I got blown pretty far off target. Snake, let's go over your mission objectives one more time. Rescue Sokolov. Find out what's happened to the Shagahod. Then destroy it. And finally, eliminate the boss. Eliminate the boss? This mission will be codenamed Operation Snake Eater. Because I'll be taking on the boss in our Cobra unit, right? Don't forget about Colonel Volkin. I'm not a hired killer. I know, but that was the Kremlin's demand. Demand? You mean it wasn't just a request? What's it to us if the Khrushchev regime is threatened by the Colonel and his faction? If supporting the current regime helps us avoid a nuclear exchange, then that's what we'll do. And what are the CIA's demands? Our priorities are the rescue of Sokolov and the destruction of the Shagahod. Roger that, Major Tom. Hold on, Snake. What now? I'm changing my code name. It turns out Tom wasn't the most auspicious choice. What do you mean? Well, the truth is, when I chose my code name, I picked the wrong one. The wrong one? Did you ever see the movie The Great Escape? It came out last year. Oh, I must have missed that one. Anyway, it's based on a true story about prisoners who escaped from a POW camp in Nazi Germany. The prisoners dig three tunnels as part of their plan, but the Nazis find two of the tunnels before they're finished. The prisoners succeed in escaping by using the last remaining tunnel. The names of those three tunnels were Dick, Harry, and Tom. I get it. You used the name of the tunnel they escaped in as your code name because you thought it would bring you good luck. Yes, that's exactly right. At least, that was the plan. But? But I got the name wrong. The one they escaped in was Harry. Tom was one of the unlucky tunnels. It was discovered by the Nazis before it was finished. I watched the movie again just to make sure. In fact, I even ordered the actual film from the movie company. Yeah, it doesn't sound like the greatest name to use. So what should I call you? Hmm. You know, let's just use Zero, like we've been doing all along. All right, then. Major Zero it is. We'll start over from square one. From square zero. My frequency is 140.85. Oh, I almost forgot. Paramedic is with us again on this mission. Is this her last chance, too? If we fail, she'll have her medical license revoked. It's more or less the same kind of fate. Her frequency is the same as during the Virtuous mission, 145.73. She'll be recording your mission data as well, just like the last time. That frequency is also the same, 140.96. And there's one more person on your support team. His name is Mr. Sigint. He's an expert on the latest in weapons and equipment technology. You'll be going up against some of the world's most advanced weaponry when you infiltrate the research facility. If you have any questions, just ask him. His frequency is 148.41. Mr. Sigint, got it. Adam, your KGB contact, is waiting for you at the abandoned factory up ahead. The same factory Sokolov was being held in last week. Yes, meet up with Adam first. He's cleared the way for you to rescue Sokolov. How will I know this Adam guy when I see him? You'll know once you reach the factory. The whole area's been polluted by the fallout from that nuclear blast. No one else would dare come close. The password is Who are the Patriots? and Lali Lulelo. Lali Lulelo. Gotcha. You've been equipped with a 45 for this mission. Be careful, it's noisy. I thought standard Fox procedure was procure on-site weapons acquisition. The circumstances are different this time. You're now on an official mission for the United States government. It would be necessary to make your presence known to a certain extent, to the Khrushchev regime at the very least. 
But remember, this is still a sneaking mission. Snake, if you fail this mission, it will mean an all-out nuclear war. Keep that in mind and proceed with extreme caution. Understood. Commencing Operation Snake Eater. Bueno, gente, eh, ya sabéis por lo, que le dice, por lo que le dicen Snake, ¿no? Le han puesto el nombre de Snake, de nombre de serpiente. Está claro, ¿no? Bueno, el traje del tigre es el que más me gusta, ya os lo dije. Ahí lo tengo puesto. Las armas, gente, he perdido una. Una o dos habré perdido, ¿no? Y bueno, no pasa nada porque, bueno, hemos caído abajo y nos las han quitado todas las armas, ¿no? Luego, conforme vamos avanzando el juego, nos van dando, nos van dando la, las armas que necesitamos y ya está. Vale, aquí hay una serpiente. Es importantísimo coger comida en este juego. Aquí tenemos otra. No es necesario gastar balas, ¿vale? Yo, yo lo hago con el cuchillo, ¿vale? A no ser que sea un cocodrilo, habrá que disparar, está claro, ¿no? Por cierto, eh, gente, hay un, un, un camuflaje para ponérselo en la cabeza de cocodrilo, Snake, ¿no? Y, y podéis confundir mucho a los enemigos, a los cocodrilos también, ¿eh? Eso tengo que conseguirlo por algún lado. No me acuerdo dónde estaba, pero tengo que encontrarlo, ¿eh? Vale, aquí parece ser que no hay enemigos. Vale. Por lo visto ya estáis viendo que aquí se hace de noche. Y se hace de día, ¿no? En la jungla. Mirad, mirad las serpientes cómo se mueven ahí abajo. Necesito cazarlas, ¿vale? Para, para comer. Aunque no me dedico a matar animales, pero bueno, el juego es así, ¿no? Eh, hay que cazar y comer. Vale, aquí parece que hay otra. Estupendo. Y aquí, bueno, una serpiente verde. Esta no es venenosa, ¿eh? esta no, no tiene veneno, si no me equivoco. Vale. Y aquí sale una cinemática que sale Den Boss, que es la madre de Beast Boss. Bueno, vamos a verla. Looks like death wasn't ready for you yet. Boss. That arm still hurt? What are you doing here? I'm not your boss anymore. There's nothing for you here. Go home. Go back to your boss. There's no need to prove that you are virtuous here. This isn't America.
That should stir things up a bit. You'd better hurry. The border is 60 miles south of here. You ought to be able to run that far. Why'd you defect? I didn't. I'm loyal to the end, to my purpose. What about you, Jack? What's it going to be? Loyalty to your country or loyalty to me? Your country or your old mentor? The mission or your beliefs? Your duty to your unit or your personal feelings? You don't know the truth yet. But sooner or later, you'll have to choose. I don't expect you to forgive me. But you can't defeat me either. You know me too well. Just look at that bandana. If you can't put the past behind you, you won't survive long. If we meet again, I'll kill you. Now, go home. This is Snake, Major Zero. I read you, Snake. I was ambushed by the boss. You were what? The drone's been shot to hell. It's up in flames. That's not good. Enemy scouts are going to come looking for you. Yeah, I know. But what was the boss doing here in the first place? There's got to be a leak somewhere. No, that's impossible. The man the boss is working with, Volgin, isn't exactly on speaking terms with Khrushchev. I lost my gun. The boss destroyed it. Snake, I know how you're feeling. It's hard for me to believe, too, that a legendary hero like the boss would go over to the Russians you double cross us like this. But that's how it is, and if you don't accept it, you'll never be able to beat her. That's not the problem. In terms of sheer technique, I'll never be able to beat her. I know that all too well. You've got to do it, Snake. She's your enemy and your objective. Enemy? We were together for ten years, and now you tell me she's my enemy? Enough. Hurry to the factory where Adam is waiting. Scouts have probably already been sent out to investigate the explosion. You've lost your weapon, right? That means you've got no chance of winning in a battle situation. Whatever you do, don't let them see you. Bueno, vamos a continuar, ¿no? Vamos a continuar. Eh, no sé si habrá enemigos aquí. Sí, sí hay, sí. Han escuchado una explosión y, han, y vienen para acá, ¿eh? De hecho, me tengo que esconder. Precaución, eh. Cuidado. Precaución, gente. Tenemos que salir de aquí. Zona pantanosa de Dremuchi. Vale, a ver. Eh, aquí, bueno. Me acuerdo que estaban los cocodrilos. Míralo, están ahí los cocodrilos, eh. Y las arenas movedizas. Pues por aquí no hay gente. Tenemos que volver. A ver si se ha despejado todo. Vale. Porque ya estábamos viendo que estábamos en, preca en precaución. no Los enemigos estaban en precaución. Eh, no estaban buscando. Han escuchado una explosión ahí. Vale, parece que todo está calmadito, ¿no? Vale, por aquí fue por donde vinimos, vale. Otra serpiente, estupendo. Joder, macho, no le doy. Ahora.
Y estáis viendo la misma serpiente, ¿no? Ahí. Pero bueno, la voy a dejar ahí ya. No quiero más. Ya tengo suficientes, ¿no? Los enemigos, gente, yo creo, claro, están ahí. Mira, ¿lo veis? No tengo la pistolilla, me la quitaron. Y esto es el avión que se estrelló cuando iba Snape, cuando venía para acá. Uf, esto va a ser muy difícil, ¿eh? Sin arma. Madre mía. Es que no tenemos arma, gente. Tenemos el cuchillo solamente. ¿Vale? Vamos a subir aquí arriba. Espero que no me pillen, por favor. Si pudiera coger eso, eso amarillo que estáis viendo ahí, se puede comer también. Pero es que no me alcanza, gente. Y encima no tengo arma. Vale, por aquí no hay nada. Hostia, que, que no hay nada, dice, tío. Casi me pilla, ¿eh? A ver cómo hacemos esto, gente. Me subo al árbol. Me la juego, ¿eh? No puede ser, pero ¿quién me, ha, ¿quién me ha visto, tío? Este hombre me ha visto, en serio. Tenemos que correr, ¿eh? Sí, 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 tenemos que correr, gente. No, no nos queda otra, ¿eh? Aquí nos van a reventar. Eso está clarísimo. Venga, vamos, vamos, vamos. Rápido. Nos ha salido bien, ¿eh? Esas fortaletas nos han salvado la vida. Vale, vamos a ir agachados, gente, porque yo quiero que la alarma se vaya. Vale, aquí en la hierba no creo que me vean. Sí pueden verme, pero lo veo difícil, ¿no? Vale, a ver. Aquí fue, ¿os acordáis, gente? Que aquí le disparé a, a la cormena, se fue el tío corriendo. Fue muy gracioso, la verdad. Eh, viene uno, ¿eh? Sube uno para arriba, me ha visto. Va. Me la tengo que jugar, gente. No tengo arma, ¿eh? Vale, allí he visto dos, dos soldados más que me están disparando. ¿Cómo hacemos esto, tío? Viene para acá, ¿eh? Lo estáis viendo, ¿no? Cruzando el puente. Tío, cómo se ven las hojas, tío. Qué, qué maravilla de juego, ¿eh? Va, viene agachado, ¿eh? Este tío tengo que matarlo como sea, ¿eh? Vale, vamos a ver si me sale bien, gente. Vamos, rápido, rápido, rápido. Tenemos que ir a por él, ¿eh? Estupendo. Me ha salido perfecto, ¿eh? Y ahora este, pues, tendré que hacer lo mismo. Acuchillarlo o despertarlo. Venga, vamos a despertarlo para interrogarlo, a ver si puedo. Ay, no he podido. Bueno, no pasa nada, gente. Ya interrogaré a otro. No, no os preocupéis. Vale, allí tenemos otro soldado, ¿eh? No, es que resbala, ¿eh? hay que tener cuidado. Vamos a ver si podemos coger a este sin que me pille. Speak. Listening to the radio can be relaxing. ¿Sí? 
Pues toma, relajación. Dicen que la radio me relaja. A mí no me relaja nadie. Me relajo yo solo. Vale, setas, perfecto. Vamos a coger toda la movida que haya por aquí. Mira, aquí también tenemos setas. Esto es que es muy importante cogerlo. No quiero quedarme sin vida. Esto nos da vida, ¿eh? Bueno, nos da vida no, nos da resistencia. ¿Estáis viendo la vida de arriba de donde pone Snake? La vida es arriba, ¿no? Pero abajo es la resistencia. Entonces la resistencia nos importa mucho, ¿no? Vais a ver aquí lo que puedo hacer, mirad. ¿Estáis viendo, no? Esto mucha gente no lo sabe. Yo lo sé porque he jugado ya. Pero estáis viendo cómo se puede bajar, ¿no? Mira, uniforme de gotas de agua. Ya me la han dado, ya tengo, ya tengo otro uniforme. Es increíble, ¿eh? Podemos ir consiguiendo uniformes también. Y el pedazo de sarto que ha pegado Bisbol. O sea, ha sido alucinante. Ya sabéis por lo que no le digo a Snake, gente. Porque no se llama Snake. Simplemente es un nombre que le han colocado como... Como su clave nombre, pero no es su nombre. En realidad, es, se llama Bisbos, en realidad. Vale, pero la gente lo conoce como Snake. Bueno, pues vamos a ver. Me voy a poner cositas aquí, ¿vale? Es que es muy importante. Todavía no tenemos armas, ¿vale? Entonces, cuando las tengamos, pues nos las colocamos ahí y ya está. No hay ningún problema. Vamos a ver qué tenemos que hacer aquí. Con cuidado, ¿eh? Los enemigos no se andan con chiquitas. Vale, por aquí ya estáis viendo que entramos por aquí, ¿no? Y tenemos que entrar otra vez. Aquí fue donde Big Boss conoció a Eva. Bueno, y Eva a Big Boss también. Que yo creo que salía aquí, ¿no? Aquí va, seguramente saldrá alguna cinemática. Pero que yo creo que enemigos, qué raro que no haya, ¿eh? Yo creo que había enemigos, pero no hay. Mira, qué casualidad. Vale, ¿qué tenemos aquí? La K-47, gente, esta arma me encanta. Vale, vamos a, a colocarla en el inventario, ¿vale? Aquí está la K-47, esta arma me encanta. Es una de mis favoritas de Metal Gear Solid 3. Y ya os digo, hay un montón de armas, ¿eh? Podemos conseguir muchas más. Pero muchísimas más. La ligera también. La ligera me gustaba también, ¿eh? Vale, granadas de humo. Ya estamos viendo que aquí hay movida. There is 
is your answer. The name's Eva. This wasn't part of the plan. What happened to Adam? What's your code name? It's Snake. Snake, huh? Well, I'm Eva. Are you here to tempt me? What happened to Adam? Colonel Volgan is a very suspicious man. He decided Adam wasn't the right person for this mission. And you were? Yes. Why? Because I can do things he can't. I heard you used to be a codebreaker for the NSA. I was. Four years ago, I defected to the Soviet Union with Adam. Nazi military. The broom handle. It packs quite a punch. Nice to have when you're on a bike. You held it sideways and used the muzzle jump to create a horizontal sweep. That was impressive. Bet you've never seen that technique in the West. It's imitation, isn't it? Yeah. It's a Chinese Type 17 pistol. Around here, even that's hard to come by. Don't worry, though. The one I've got for you is American-made. Forty-five, huh? Hmm. Incredible. Do you like it? The feeding ramp is polished to a mirror sheen. The slide's been reinforced. And the interlock with the frame is tightened for added precision. The sight system is original, too. The thumb safety is extended to make it easier on the finger. A long type trigger with non-slip grooves. A ring hammer. The base of the trigger guard's been filed down for a higher grip. And not only that, nearly every part of this gun has been expertly crafted and customized. Where'd you get something like this? I grabbed it from a Western munitions armory. It probably used to belong to one of your officers, and there are more where that came from. You had this with you, didn't you? Better take this, too. What's that? A disguise to make you look like a scientist. A disguise? Yes. You're here to rescue Sokolov, right? Sokolov's still safe, then? Yes. He's being forced to continue his work on the Shagohawk. Where? At the lab. They've got a whole army of scientists there developing new weapons. Security is tight, but if you disguise yourself as a scientist, you might be able to sneak in. Can we get Sokolov out of there? We'll see, won't we? Tell me how to get to the lab. The safest way in is from the rear. First, you'll need to head north through the jungle. You'll come to a heliport used for shipping materials. Pass the heliport and continue north, and there will be a large crevice. Descend into that area, and you'll reach a cave. Move through the cave, and you will arrive at a mangrove swamp. After the swamp, there'll be a warehouse. Make your way through the warehouse, and you'll come out just south of the lab. Got it. And just what are you doing there? <laughs> In close-range combat, a knife can sometimes be more useful than a gun. 
By doing this, I'll be able to hold a knife at the same time and still keep the gun steady. That way, I can instantly switch between a gun battle and a knife fight. Right, let's get going. Wait a minute. What now? You must be tired. Why don't you take a little rest? I'll be fine. You'll never make it in your condition. It's a jungle out there. There's still an hour before dawn. It's dangerous to be out in the jungle at night without a guide. What about you? I have to get back. I can't be gone for too long. They'll start to suspect something. Don't worry. I'll keep you updated over the radio. That's it? My orders are to provide you with information. Nothing more. You look disappointed. All right, then. I'll do something special for you. I'll stand watch until dawn. Now be a good boy and lie down. What's the matter? I don't know you well enough to trust you. How well do you have to know me to trust me? I don't know if I can trust anybody. Gonna get that? She's right, Snake. You should get some sleep. Although, in your condition, you really ought to be back in the ICU. Whenever you save the game and quit, you'll go to sleep. Sleeping allows you to gain back stamina naturally. Depending on how long you sleep, you may also recover naturally from sickness and injury. When you're tired or hurt, the best thing to do is just get some sleep. So do yourself a favor and take a nap. Doctor's orders, okay? Yeah, okay. Vale, vamos a guardar la partida. Ya estáis viendo que Eva me acaba de dar un arma y yo creo que es una Socon, ¿no? Una Socon o una tranquilizante, si no me equivoco. Luego, luego lo miro. Pero nosotros guardamos la partida, por si acaso. What's the matter? We're surrounded. I see four of them. We've got company. It's the Ocelot unit. Let's get out of here. Hurry. Don't forget your gear. Here, give me a hand.
Bueno, comienza la juerga. Ahora hay enemigos aquí fuera, ¿eh? Hay que tener mucho cuidado. Vamos a mirar aquí en el armario a ver lo que hay. Vale, son las gafas térmicas, ¿vale? Perfecto. Y bueno, tenemos que... Tenemos que meternos aquí. No nos queda otro. Porque sabemos que van a venir. Van a entrar por la puerta y no quiero que me pillen. Vale, aquí no me van a pillar. Vale, me ha, me ha dado Eva la arma de matar. Me encanta esta arma. ¿eh? Con silenciador. Ahora me falta la otra, ¿no? La de, la de tranquilizar a los enemigos también. La MK22 también la tenemos aquí. Ya tenemos las dos, ¿vale? Y ya está. Vámonos así. Mira, ¿estáis escuchando? Estáis escuchando. Arriba están rompiendo la puerta para entrar. Y acaban de entrar ahora mismo los enemigos, ¿no? Se van a cagar los cabrones estos de mierda, hombre. Son aliados de, de Ocelot. ¿Lo estáis viendo? Vestidos igual. Vestidos igual que Ocelot, míralo. Soldados rusos, ya estáis viendo, ¿no? Me la toma en toda la cabeza, cabrón. Quiere decir que Ocelot saldrá aquí. Vamos, estoy segurísimo. Vale, estoy haciendo ruido para que vengan. Ya estoy viendo... ¿Eh? ¿Cómo ha pillado si estoy detrás de la pared? No, 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 que no, que no. Es muy falso, ¿eh? Vamos a tirar esto. Le cojo la K. ¿Estáis viendo para lo que sirve el barril? Lo estáis viendo, ¿no? Para eso sirve. Vale, me lo, me lo pone abajo, me lo pone a la izquierda. Me quedan cuatro enemigos, ¿eh? Se me quedan pocos. Poco a poco se va haciendo. Pero qué raro, si no estaba... ¿Quién me ha visto ahora? Aquí tiene el tejado. No sé, no sé cómo me ha pillado el otro antes, pues yo estaba detrás de la pared. ¿Habrá, ¿Me habrá pillado el del tejado, seguramente? Macho que no. Joder, macho que quiero coger eso. Sube, sube, Big Boss, sube. Claro. La caja, vale. Me faltan tres enemigos, no sé dónde están, eh. No, no tengo ni idea de dónde pueden estar, ¿eh? Ah, vale, ahí, ahí, ahí. He visto uno. Vamos rápido. Mierda, mierda, por asomar la cabeza. A ver si puedo cogerlo. Estupendo. Me quedan dos. Me lo pone abajo, ¿eh? No, 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 no lo levante ahora, Big Boss. Si es que vaya tela, tío. Bueno, pues ya está, no pasa nada. Me queda uno. Me dan toda la cabeza por cabrón. ¿Dónde está el último, tío? Tiene que estar escondidísimo, ¿eh? Está, está acojonado, ¿eh? Me queda solo uno. Me parece que ese tiene una ligera, ¿eh? Se va mucho el arma. Se va mucho la K cuando, cuando apuntamos así, ¿eh? ¿Vale? Pues se acabó. Enemigos eliminados. Ahí está. Ahora me pregunto, ¿dónde estará Ocelot? Porque he eliminado a todos sus soldados, ¿no? No he dejado ninguno con vida. Vale, me tengo que curar, ¿eh? El brazo lo tiene mal, Snake. Así vamos a curarlo. Estupendo. Le ponemos venda. Suero. Una cinemática para ver cómo se cura. 
Qué guapo, chaval. Mirad cómo se lía él solo la herida. ¿Eh? Habéis visto lo que se ha hecho, ¿eh? Se ha puesto unos puntos. Está muy guapa la cinemática. Y cuando se come serpientes también se ve una cinemática. Eso está muy bien. Voy a comer algo para que tener fuerza. ¿Vais a ver la serpiente cómo se ve la cinemática? Cuando la muerde, claro. Fijaos, ¿eh? Se la come cruda la, la serpiente. Bueno, vamos, basta ya de tonterías y vamos allá. Venga, esto era para enseñaroslo, pero bueno. Ahora lo de curarme sí tenía que curarme obligatorio. No me quedaba otra. A ver, aquí hay munición. Sí, hay munición aquí abajo. Vale. Pues nada. Lo hemos conseguido, ¿no? Hemos eliminado... Los ocho enemigos que había aquí, ¿no? ¿No eran ocho? O eran nueve, no me acuerdo ahora. O diez, tal vez, no sé. Esto que estáis viendo lo podía haber hecho perfectamente también, pero bueno, da igual. Los enemigos ya están eliminados, así que no hay ningún problema. A ver, eh, para... Vale, esto está bien, perfecto. Se va curando Snape poco a poco, le va subiendo la vida. Poquito a poco. Cuando comemos. Si no comemos, nada, ¿eh? No se puede hacer nada. Vale, cinemática. I've been waiting for this moment. That's it. That's the stance. I don't think so. What? A female spy? This bitch is wearing perfume. Stay where you are. I've had enough of your judo. I see you've got yourself a single action army. That's right. There'll be no accidents this time. You call that an accident? Well, it wouldn't have happened if you hadn't been showing off. What did you say? It's a nice gun. I'll give you that. But the engraving gives you no tactical advantage whatsoever. Unless you were planning to auction it off as a collector's item. And you're forgetting one more very basic thing. You don't have what it takes to kill me. We'll see. Six shots. The Makarov carries eight. You have to get a feel for how many you have left. This is a high class weapon. It 
It's not meant for shooting people. Damn! This isn't over yet. Don't. Why? He's still young. You'll regret stopping me. Damn it! I've got to get back before he does! Bueno, ya estáis viendo que se está poniendo muy interesante esta historia. La verdad que es que es un juegazo espectacular. Es como si fuera también una película. Aquí hay una serpiente. Y bueno, eh, la aventura esta la vamos a vivir muy bien, la verdad. A mí me encanta. La gente que le gusta Metal Gear Solid, yo digo que... Que si os gusta ver mi contenido de Metal Gear, bueno, para la gente que le guste este juego, para la gente que no, pues nada, también bien, ¿vale? Pero yo sé que la vais, a, vais a disfrutar, si os gusta, la vais a disfrutar segurísimo, ¿no? Porque yo aquí os enseño todo, ¿vale? Os enseño cómo se consiguen todas las armas, cómo se consigue la esa de cocodrilo, los camuflajes, ¿vale? Hay un montón de cosas aquí. Vale, voy a guardar la partida y lo vamos a dejar aquí ya, ¿vale? Porque se me ha hecho muy largo el vídeo. Snake, do you know the creature from the Black Lagoon? Nope, never heard of it. These scientists are investigating a place deep in the Amazon called the Black Lagoon, and they get picked off one after the other by this fishman thing. And there was the scene when the heroine is going for a swim, and the creature sneaks up on her from underwater. Oh, I thought my heart was going to stop. I mean, of course, the 3D effects in It Came From Outer Space were a lot more intense, but... It wouldn't be referring to you coming from outer space, would it? How rude! Why do you say that? Because no one on Earth could be as charming as you. <sighs> Fine. I'll just get to the point, Snake. Be careful of what's around you when you're in the water. Just imagining you swimming in those jungle rivers makes me think of you being attacked by a fishman. I appreciate the concern. Fishmen aren't the only things that'll attack you in the water. Really be careful out there. Okay. And don't be attacking any pretty girls going for a swim, either. Are you calling me a fish man? You started it. Vale, gente, hasta la próxima. Muchas gracias, como siempre, por estar aquí. Hasta el próximo vídeo.